Well, just a few minutes ago, Heidi talked about the exciting new weight loss challenge candidates on the NBC show The Biggest Loser will embark on soon. How's this for another dose of inspiration as we start the new year? You're looking at Buzz Brown's before picture. He lost 240 pounds in less than a year, and he's beating the statistic that says most people will put it back on in two years. And joining me now on First at Four is Buzz Brown. This, <laughs> this is the shirt you used to wear, Buzz. That's it. When you look at that, what Six do you think? X. Unbelievable. <laughs> and what size shirt are you wearing today? I'm wearing a large. That's. Uh, Completely amazing to see those before and after pictures. Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, Kate. Happy New Year. So you've kept this weight off, and and you first started this about a year and a half ago. Actually, about two and a half years two and ago. Half. Yes, okay. I kept, kept it, it off. Two year anniversary. That's why we're having, having the weight mm -hmm. off. So, what was the biggest thing that you learned going through all of this? I learned I had to make my brain thin. I learned that it's not hard to lose the weight, but it's not hard to gain it back either. As long as I kept doing the same things I was doing before. I had the same results, and so I had to completely change how I thought about food and how I approached food. How do you make your brain thin? It was a, a process of realizing that I couldn't do this myself, building a support system including Charles, and then moving forward with instructions on changing how I think about food. Uh, for instance, food now is a way for me to get fuel for my body rather than a way to get pleasure and to deal with emotions. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, and it, it's a big switch mm -hmm. mentally, as you know, Charles, because you also lost a 160 lot of weight. pounds over, right. a ca over a decade ago. And, and the biggest change is going from spontaneity, which is what brought Buzz to my office, to a life of strategy wherein he's eating consistently. And let's face it, we're all in a routine, aren't we? So many people now are embarking on a New Year's resolution, but they find themselves four, five, six weeks out from now, and they're back in their old habits. So the key is to really stop with this idea of, well, I'm going to try to do something. There's no such thing as try, is there, Buzz? No. <laughs> There's either you're doing it or you're not. So take action and have a routine so you set up times and a schedule for yourself, like Buzz has, where you're eating every couple hours and you're exercising routinely. You know, they were talking about the Biggest Loser camp just a bit ago. And the problem that I have with such programs like that is when you remove yourself from your environment, but then come back to it, it's very difficult because life is going to continue to pull at you. I mean, Buzz can talk about some struggles that he's personally had. Yes. Yeah, this year has been a, a very difficult year, and it would have been excellent excuses to eat. Uh, I had a nephew that committed suicide, and uh, this one's for Christian. And, uh, my wife uh, developed cancer, and we've gone through the treatment with that. And, and those would have all been good reasons for me to just have an extra burger or, you know, just to feel better a little bit. But I stuck with my food program, and I see, I'm see i seeing it through, and I'm within five pounds of my goal weight. That's really remarkable. Yeah. Congratulations. So Thank you. what is that one thing you tell yourself every day, then, that you could share with us that keeps you from regaining the weight. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things. I, I guess the one thing that I tell myself the most is that the relationships have changed so much as I've uh, lost the weight and maintained the weight and that's what makes it worthwhile that I can now have room to hold my grand, great, great granddaughter on my lap. Absolutely. All right, Buzz Brown, Charles D'Angelo, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us. Uh, continued success in 2013 to both of and you. And anyone can do it. Buzz is living proof of it. You can not only just lose a weight, but you can keep it off if you'll change your mindset. All right, thanks so much. And we'll be right back. Stay with us on First at Four.